Hello everyone, you are welcome to this channel once again. Today we have another question on jet propel aircraft and how to determine and calculate its zero lift drag, its coefficient of lift and its Oswald factor E. Now let's go through the question. Consider a jet propelled airplane with the following parameters. The wing area, which is the size, equals 50 meters squared. The wingspan B equals 25 meters. The weight equals 110 kilonewton. In a series of flight tests at 10,000 meter altitude, the air density which equals 0 0.41 kilogram per meter cube. The airplane is trimmed for straight level on accelerated flight for two different velocity. V1 equals 230 meter per second. V2 equals 170 meter per second. The thrust required to fly at those velocity is TR1, 8.5 kN, TR2, equals 5.5 kN respectively. Use all these data to calculate the zero lift drag, CDO and the Oslo factor. Now, today we have a jet propel. aircraft with all the parameter to be S which is a wind area 50 meter per square the span B equals 25 meter the weight 110 kilonewton which is 11 times 10 to 4 Newton. We have the altitude 10,000 meter. We have the density of the altitude, which is 0 0.41 kg per meter cube. We have the first velocity for the train. 230 meter per second. We have the second velocity for the trim of the aircraft, which is 170 meter per second. We have the first thrust that enable the first trim, which is 8.5 kN. We have the second thrust. To be 5.5 kilonewton. Now, in order for us to commence the calculation that we are meant to do today, first of all, we need to calculate all our coefficient of lift for each event one by one. So therefore, the CL1 equals 2W over rho S V1 squared. So that gives us 2 multiply by 11 times 10 to 4 over 0 0.41 times 50 times 230 squared. Our CL1 equals 0 0.2. 
2029. Also, we have our CD1, which is 2 multiplied by the trust 1 over rho SV1 square. That gives us 2 times. 8.5 to the 10 to 3 over 0 0.41 times 50 times 230 squared. Our CD1 equals 0 0.0157. Also, our CL2, which equals 2W over rho SV22, which equals 2 times 11 to the 4 over 0 0.41 times. 50 times 170 squared. Our CL2 equals 0 0.3713. And let us forget our CD2 equals 2TR2 over rho S V squared 2. Our CD2 equals 2 times 5.5 10 to the power 3 over 0 0.41 times 50 times 170 squared. Our CD2 equals 0 0.0186. Now that we have found both CL high and CD on the two events of the aircraft flight, then the next thing is to proceed on how we can calculate our Oswald factor and our zero lift drag coefficient, CDO. Let us forget that CDI equals CDO plus CL square by EAR. Our aspect ratio equals B square over S that gives us 25 square over 50 which is 12.5. And let us forget our CD2 equals CDO plus CS square over pi E A R. Now this becomes equation one and this equation two. So they are both simultaneous. So therefore we can cancel CDO. So our CD1 minus CD2 equals C L1 square minus C L2 square over pi E A R. Eventually, we can pull out the, our Oswald factor from the equation. And that becomes E equals 1 over pi AR multiplied by CL1 square minus 
CL2 square over CDI1 minus CDI2. which becomes 1 over 3.14 times 12.5 multiplied by what is the value of our CL1? 0 0.2029 square minus CL2 0 0.2029 3, 7, 1, 3, square, all over our CD1, 0 0.0157 minus CD2, 0 0.0186. Our Oxford factor become 0 0.85 calculated. Now by substituting the Oxford factor in equation 1, we can deduce that our CDO equals CDI minus CL square by E A R, which is the C D one, which is zero point zero one five seven minus what is the C minus what's our C L I C L one squared. 0 0.2029 square over 3.14 times the also factor 0 0.85 times the aspect ratio which is 12.5 so therefore our CDO become 0 0.0145 So therefore, our Oxford factor equals 0 0.85 and our CDO equals 0 0.0145. Thank you for staying tuned.